area with 51. Everything in the butterflies. Go get your man. And I feel like butterfly gonna recap this. So all y'all wanna know what happened, I'm gonna tell you what happened. He got smoked. Said you always had my back you forever front. Forever front. Uh. My brother asked me why I'm still rapping, I ain't hit a milli yet I told him it's my dream, he said wake up, mama still in debt Too many people in they feelings, I ain't feeling that My homie paralyzed right now, he can't get his feeling back You already know what it is man, salute to the subscribers, that notification gang, etc, etc Don't let none of that get too far ahead of you Click and blend, follow me on Instagram, Vada underscore fly Tell your mama I said hi Salute to my guy, Showtime SP the nobody that knows bodies, the ambassador of the notification gang. You know what I'm saying? Like like the like the king of the, of the ad libs, sultan of shit talk, you know, the judge of the judges. He does a lot of things. And um, I will say this, as we all know, you know, he's an intricate part of this whole thing that we got going on here. Uh, I appreciate him for everything that he does. You know, we just went to New York uh, to see the dip set versus uh, Locks whole joint. He's been chilling, working. We're going to get back real soon. But it, it really wasn't nothing in battle rap worth talking about this week. It's been a pretty dry week. But it is his birthday, you know what I'm saying? So you can jump in the comments, say happy birthday to Showtime SP. Hit him up on Instagram, at Showtime SP. Hit him up on Twitter, at Showtime SP. If you want to cash app him some something to go to lunch, his at Showtime SP, S-H-O-T-I-M-E-S-P. All one word. And trust me, I did break him off properly you know what i'm saying for his birthday um i think it's very uh you know we should these things should be celebrated when these guys put in a lot of work and things like that and i really had was not gonna blog today that's why he's not here being you know <laughs> the ambassador of the annoying you know what i'm saying doing the shit that he do with his energy it's, it's a unique energy and i appreciate everything that he does you know what i'm saying like uh he'll i'll find out like he'll be judging things He'll be moving through the culture. He's very, he gets a lot of respect. You know, he gets hated too. There's artists who hate him. There's artists who love him. But you know, that's one of the things in this. You know what I'm saying? When you do this at such a high level, everybody, <laughs> when he tells me about some of the things that he get into with a person here or a person there, I'm like, hey, nigga, that's what comes with it. Like, shit, you can't have an opinion and think a nigga not gonna have an opinion about your opinion. Uh, we definitely will be coming back full time with all of the hoodies and shit as the weather cools down. Niggas been asking for hoodies and it's like 90 degrees outside. Like, what, 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 what is going on with you niggas? Like, y'all asking the cop hoodies. See, my basement is colder than the stripper's heart. So where I record at, you know what I'm saying, in my studio, it's cold as hell. So that's why I throw the hoodie on. But we coming. So anyway, um, I, I really didn't have much to blog about this week besides the whole locks versus dip set etc etc and i didn't want to i don't like forcing content like i'm not just going to jump in front of here and just talk about anything if it ain't if it don't got no relevance or if it don't mean that to me i just don't i don't blog on it but i did see a tweet come across my line from all things battles all things battles as a twitter account and i think they believe i believe they have an instagram too and they, you know, share clips from the battles when they happen and they, you know, share rumors and shit like that. And, you know, and, and break news at times, too. Let's Talk Battle Rap breaks a lot of news, too. I definitely use, I utilize both sources, you know what I'm saying? If I see some shit that's really fire, you know what I'm saying, I'm going to be like, oh, cool, let me talk about it. You know, I'll elaborate on some of the things. So I appreciate what they do, you know what I'm saying? Let's Talk Battle Rap, they had put out... Uh, Something saying, like, it was about Dre Dennis and Math Hoffa yesterday saying, you know, Math Hoffa was talking really reckless about Dre Dennis as far as, you know, his battle career and things like that and saying if he passed away tomorrow, nobody would care. Like, when it's battle rap, it's battle rap, but, like, Math, you kind of, like, took it a little further than it needed to be. I'm not going to hold you. If you don't like what Dre Dennis does in battle rap, if you're not a fan of what he does, if you're not a fan of the fact that he's got 88 million battles, that's one thing. But when you cross like certain lines, like come on, man, you win, especially people like our families that got kids and shit like that. And they said the interview was up, but then the interview got taken down. A lot of the times when the interview's up and the interview is taken down, 
It's probably because somebody realizes that they crossed the fucking line or they said some shit that they probably shouldn't have said. And like I said, I got respect for both of the individuals I seen when Drake Dennis was commenting on the fact that Math was not at the battle that they were supposed to have on King of the Die. They were supposed to battle later in the month or whatever the case may be, but you know, Math, I did see those comments. I saw the interview clip and he was saying, you know, that you don't matter, your battles are irrelevant, but then Drake Dennis said, it's the same shit that Surf and Goods be telling you. Do you believe in a parallel universe? I do. You talking blabble. The 40 rattle. You said my shit didn't mean nothing but goods and surf say you also have unimportant battles. Like that's just the way it goes. But anyway, moving on from that subject. Um Gigi Gotti versus Loaded Lux. Now I ain't gonna when I saw this shit, I was like, what? Wait, 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 wait. Now, I must say, Gigi Gotti has made a name for himself. He has done everything that you're supposed to do when you're thrusted into this big spotlight. You got to understand, right? And at times, and I'm not even speaking from a, a whole a, a whole big standpoint. I'm talking about from the small, smallest decibel. When you look at things from the battle rappers world, right? A lot of these guys are usually rappers, they usually do music, usually, you know, trying to come on, trying to get on, and everybody's scratching, clawing, trying to get big in the game, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's just what it is. So, you see a guy like Ichigati, he comes up, he he, he uh, does everything that you're supposed to do with the spotlight, uh, he's an ambassador for battle rap, he put a whole coast on his back, you know, the West Coast, the West Coast was vying for that next superstar, Daylight was there, but Daylight wasn't the Daylight that we have right now. Like, Daylight was bullshitting in battles. He was, like, shitting on stage. He was, like, wearing costumes. Like, Daylight was known for the antics. Nice battle rapper, known for the antics. Like, he was not getting the same respect. Now, his name, it, it, it harbors respect. You know Daylight's coming with three rounds. You know Daylight's going to bring fire. You know he was always talented. You know what I'm saying? He was always talented. But we're not going to... We're not going to substitute habit for hard work. Just because he had a habit of doing something, like he was battling all the time, doesn't mean that he was working harder than the other people because at the same time, he's bullshitting. So nobody could really even rely on the fact of whether Daylight was going to bring shit. That was years and years and years ago. We're, none of us are the same people we were five years ago, ten years ago. You would hope that everybody continues to grow, develop, and become bigger and better at what they do. So Daylight has evolved a million times over by now. So... West Coast needed a new ambassador, you know, Diz was still around, but, you know, Diz, like, he's hit or miss, and especially on URL, like, he's, I can't really recall when Daylight has been a hit on URL. It's always, like, other leagues, like King of the Die, you know what I'm saying, he'll do his thing there, whatever the case may be, but he's never really been a hit on URL. Danny Myers, it took Danny Myers up to, like, this year to finally get on big cards. I'm, and like I said, the truth sound like hate the niggas who hate the truth, and I'm not rushing through this because... I'm retired, I'm chilling, what the fuck? What do, I, what do I have going on? I ain't got shit, you know what I'm saying? My kids is good, family good, I'm good. So I could, you know, I could walk you through this one. So anyway, um, Danny Myers, it took Danny Myers forever to get on. Like he, he like, he, the nigga been battling since fucking before I was blogging, real shit. And I've been in this shit for like five years now. He finally starting to get some of the looks that he got. He got a look and then he battled real sick and fumbled the bag and then he battles Jada Nightwing like the next week and does amazing. It's like, come on, my nigga, right battle, wrong card. Like, what are you doing? So, now we, he still get to be determined. I think he should still get big battles. I think he should have a chance to, you know, revise himself or revitalize himself. Maybe an Iron Solomon. I've been hearing rumors about that shit too. Throw them together and hopefully he don't take a battle every day before then. You know what I'm saying? And then we'll see where it goes. But um, let me stay on track. So Gigi Gotti has been an ambassador for the battle rap culture. He's helped build um, the West Coast. He's helped put on different artists. He's helped do a lot of shit, you know what I'm saying? Like he's just one of them ones. I know he won champion of the year two times. Like this nigga is like the one, he's the oracle. Like his, his, he got an IG following, his Twitter following is crazy. Uh, he does all the right things. He shows up for battles. This man battled on the Ultimate Madness tournament, left Ultimate Madness the next day and went and battled in Atlanta against the cat named Wise, who's actually about to battle uh, Tay Rock in a couple weeks. I just saw that battle like yesterday too, like a, like a, I think it was yesterday. I missed it when it happened, but I did see it yesterday. Wise is pretty cool too. You, we'll see what happens with that. But what I will say is this: 
He's an ambassador of the game. He does everything that you're supposed to do right with that light. Like that, like you may niggas was saying yesterday, yo, this nigga do so good with his career, niggas is really like debating what battles has he lost. Like it was a really a debate yesterday going on on Twitter where niggas like, yo, what battles has he lost? Now, there are people who have battles where they picked that he lost. They said he lost versus Ars, they say he lost versus Surf. I did have Surf winning that battle, I say he lost versus Rock, I had Rock winning that one too. But overall, his win-loss ratio is fucking crazy. We all know Rum Nitty has the best one, especially on that. But you got his win-loss ratio is crazy, especially how many niggas he battled. He was battling all through quarantine, he battled fucking on the ad, he was battling the damn video battles, Jerry West, Saga, like this nigga was battling everywhere. He was battling on the rooftop, he was battling on the big stage, he was battling on a small stage, nigga was battling in two on twos, nigga battling in front of the shit and one for Drake. This nigga took every motherfucking step to do what he's supposed to do. Got his, got his crew EFB, y'all know what that means? Every fucking blog, that's me, I'm EFB too, you know what I'm saying, EFB every fucking blog. This nigga, he makes slogans, he makes, he, the nigga, nigga, what he say? And I feel like Nigga, that, that, that was from him versus John John the Don. And I feel like he made it a hot line, I made it a hot song. But I'm saying, I made it a career. And I feel like I took that shit, put that motherfucking Sazon on that bitch, threw it in the front, made it the intro, ding, went up from there. Stock is, price is up. It's up. It's up there and it's stuck there. So, they talk about uh, Beloved. Uh, all Things Battle says rumors are circulating Geechee vs. Lux is locked in for Summer Madness in September. Now, do I believe this? Not so much until I see it. Like, until I see or hear it. And, like, I really rock with Geechee, you know what I'm saying? Like, I spoke to him the other night. Um, somebody wanted to holler at him about some, you know, media type shit, so I plugged in with him. Like, that's my man. Like, I, I, co I copped his no studio in gear, you know what I'm saying? I ain't want, I don't be asking niggas. Black men who doing business and shit, if I see something that I like, I go buy it. I don't be hitting niggas up for giving me some shit for free. No. You have a business, I support your business, you know what I'm saying? I copped his hoodie and shit like that. But, uh, they saying now, Loaded Lux versus Geechee, you got it. Now, see, the thing is, last time I checked, Last time I heard it was supposed to be Loaded Lux vs. Daylight. They've been talking about this shit for like eight Sundays in church. I don't know where the battle's at. It ain't happened yet. And it ain't really ain't no date on it either. But uh, that would be a super, super, super big splash into the new school for Loaded Lux. The closest thing that he's had to that was Calico back in the days. And now... Um, he had Chess in the two-on-two. -two. Chess's energy was crazy in that battle, though. It's very few people who would have approached Loaded Lux and Hollow the Dawn the way he did. You know what I'm saying? Like, and this is when Chess wasn't even like he's he's cooking right now, but he wasn't. This wasn't. This ain't that, and that ain't this. Don't get it fucked up. Like he he wasn't. He wasn't. I'm from Calling Ave, nigga. I'm from Calling Ave. Walking around these niggas. I'm from Calling Ave, nigga. I'm from the Bronx, too. You know, I love that shit. Walked around them niggas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What the fuck you think this is, nigga? Yeah, yeah. He wasn't even who he is right now. He wasn't who he is right now. He was, he was, he was all right. But he wasn't, he wasn't getting crazy like he is right now. He was cold. But Surf had got locked up and shit, so they had to throw somebody else in the two on two. A lot of niggas felt like it should have been Ab. It was like, yo, Chess is not like that no more. What's up with this nigga? But the nigga came, he delivered the, the shell casings, and the rest is history. Now back to Beloved. For Lux, it would definitely be a super venture into the new era. And I know, I know from knowing Loaded Lux, you know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't my fucking best friend or no shit like that. But from the interaction that we had, he knows who I am. I know who he is. I've spoke to him when I saw him on public and shit. Um, you know what I'm saying? Like, we spoke uh, a couple times. Like, I rock with him. I got no issue with him. I love what he does. You know what I'm saying? He, 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 he's very, he's a, he's a logical thinker. He, think, he, he thinks everything through. You know, he gave SP the shout out on the fucking, the God tier joint. I'm a style on these niggas. SP, get your mans. Niggas really was like, yo, I thought that was, I think that was from Styles P. When the hell has Styles P, respect to Styles P, respect to him. When has he ever said, get your mans? Nigga, give my nigga Showtime. Happy birthday, SP. Give my nigga his love. So, uh, now they talking about these two potentially battling on Summer Madness. Some Madness? Uh, I think that would be crazy. If Lux really, like, said, fuck it, I'm going, because the thing about Lux, you know what I'm saying, like, 
A lot of niggas don't 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 don't, don't be thinking about the fact that Loaded Lux, although legendary, he ain't really got no new era rep like that. It's a lot of niggas that Loaded Lux ain't battled in this new era. You know, DNA was taking shots at the nigga. You know, Chilla Jones was taking shots at the nigga. You know, motherfucking uh, JC was taking shots at the nigga. You know, I could go on all day and all day and all day about it. But he don't really be venturing off into the new era. He battled Surf, but I don't really consider Surf new era. Like, Surf been around for a long time since them niggas outside. I do this in a lot. That was fucking oh, damn near 10 years ago. I don't consider no nigga that been around for 10 years no new era. Sorry. You know what I'm saying? The amount of success that, that Surf has outside of Battle Rap, I couldn't consider what he does New Era. Um, when I say New Era, I'm talking niggas five years and younger that been around five years and, and less. And I know DNA's been around for quite some time too, but you know how that shit goes from legendary purposes. Um, I think that that would be fire, but it's such a style clash that on a big stage, that's a mitigated, that's a big risk. Like, that's a... That's a huge risk, cause Geechee Gotti, he don't he 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 don't got no misses on them big stage. Like he don't really have a lot of misses. Like he have a lot of hits on them joints. Like they rock with damn near everything that this nigga says on them big stages. Especially you got niggas that ain't been out for a whole fucking year. These niggas ain't been out for over a year, my nigga, since pandemic first hit. Niggas ain't been out in over a year. You bring these niggas out, and you come out there with the wrong shit, beloved, and that nigga start. <sighs> Big K, the clip spray. What you know about getting shot, but still having to go to work? Because you ain't have no sick days. And that shit start hitting like that. He ain't say that, but that's some shit he would say. That's my shit. Don't steal it. Um, Like, when he start doing that shit, the backup's real different when it's in front of you. In front of a thousand people? I'm just saying, you know, I know I know all them roll together, you know what I'm saying? Now, the Harlem niggas don't play. Them Harlem niggas was trying to say their motherfucking dip set won the versus shit. I said, God damn, these niggas really don't. Harlem niggas, you're never going to see Harlem niggas go against Harlem niggas and Philly niggas go against Philly. I don't give a shit. Them two places of the world are some of the most undivided places I have ever seen. These niggas will ride with each other. Win, lose, flaw, or draw. They not going to ever go against each other. They don't give a shit. They going to ride with each other. But uh, I'm just saying, I, 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 don't, I wouldn't call against Beloved straight up. But Gishi got him on a big stage, and he ain't been there for a whole year. And the nigga been battling very, he been very active. He's not one of them dudes who, just because there was no big stages around, only battled once since the pandemic hit. This nigga might got about 10, 15, he might got about 20 joints since the pandemic started. I don't, I'm not about to go through them and count them all, but he probably got like 20 joints. He was battling so much at one point, niggas was like, yo, Geechee gotta slow down. This nigga, he has to slow down. I told you, he battled a nigga on Ultimate Madness shit. 30 the nigga left and went and battled Wiseman, Wise descent the next day. What the fuck? How much is rent out there? Jesus Christ, you, you battling that goddamn much? But he don't be doing that shit really. Like, he ain't been doing that shit as of late battling every week. But uh, that nigga was battling every fucking card. But uh, I know a lot of people, like, when I, when I seen the tweet and I tweeted this shit, you know what I'm saying? I said I needed something to talk about because, you know, it was really shit to talk about this week. Like, it was just a dry ass battle rap week. <laughs> What can I say? Hopefully, uh, shit picks up tomorrow, Ultimate Madness shit. Uh, I know a lot of niggas be like, yo, you gotta do the Ultimate Madness, Ultimate Madness, Ultimate Madness. So I'm a, um, let me go to the Ultimate Madness shit. I don't even know who the fuck all battling tomorrow, but I give you my prediction real quick. I throw it at the end of this shit right here. Uh, True Fall versus She Happens. She Happens got the energy right now. They fucking with him heavy, so True Fall gonna need some shit to beat that nigga. Cause uh, they fucking with him heavy right now. Uh, he's nice too, so I ain't, I ain't about to say no. You know what I'm saying? Can bullshit. The nigga got flow. Uh, True foe is nice too though. That would probably be the upset of the whole shit though. I ain't gonna hold you. Uh, I'm going with she happens though. Two one close. MVP versus Kid Slay. Uh, I got Kid Slay two one. Uh, he had a close one with uh, what's my man DG Piranha last week. 
MVP be. That shit was so trash, though. That, uh, anyway, moving on. Uh, Kid Slay, uh, I think he'll be MVP. That would be another super upset, though. Uh, real name Brandon gets the free win because Piranha's on the run. This nigga's on the run from like the feds, the ATF. I don't fucking know. The law enforcement or some shit. When you in the battle rap shit, when you get in this shit, matter of fact, I'm gonna explain that shit at the end. Next verse, Bowles the Bambino. I got Bowles the Bambino winning. I'm just gonna be honest with you. Like I, I, I see what next do and shit like that. I didn't feel like he won. Uh, I watched that shit again. When I first saw it, I thought it was close. It was what it was. But when I seen it on the joint on the app, they had that other nigga winning by a lot. I think Bose the Bambino is one of the talented niggas in this motherfucker. He's probably going to win. Don't be surprised if that happens. I will not be. But back to the Piranha situation, you know what I'm saying? Like I say, he's on the run. For like the, whoever he's on the run for. I hope all is well. I hope he be all right. But y'all niggas got to know. When y'all come into this shit, whether you're a blogger, whether you're a battle rapper, it's mad clout involved. Like, it's mad clout. Like, it is what it is. When you do this shit at a high level, everybody gonna know who the fuck you are. All the people, all the niggas, all the bitches, everybody gonna know. And you really gotta have a handle on your life. And I know it's about living that life, and I does this, and I be in them street. Yo, this is just a message for all the niggas. Cause I know it's a lot of battle rappers, a lot of prospective battle rappers, and people that wanna do this shit. You really, really, really gotta have a handle on your life, B, because it would suck to finally achieve your dream, finally get to where you've been trying to get to all these years and shit, get there, and you can't enjoy it because now you're in trouble. Now you're in trouble with the Lord. Now you're in trouble with, and now, like I said, I don't know his whole personal situation because I ain't really dig into it, but I just seen like they was posting and niggas was saying that he not battling. That's what I see. I see the fact that a nigga's not battling. If a nigga's not battling and it says it's because he got situations with law, that's where I, I draw. I don't have to go further into it and figure out on, on this date, this nigga, I don't even know all that. But, like, have you got to have your shit together. We all make mistakes. Nobody's perfect, you know what I'm saying, in this world. Like, we all going to go through shit at times. But at the end of the day, like, you got to tighten up out here. Because what's the use of grinding so hard to get somewhere in life? You get to that place and then you can't even enjoy it and you can't pursue it. Because all of the shit from the past comes up. Or you got beef with this nigga. Or this nigga's in the street. Or this nigga said ass. Or the ops and all this other dumb shit. Like, at a certain age, my nigga, and I don't know how old these niggas are. And like I said, I'm not, this is not even about him no more. This is about life. At a certain age, like, it's got to be shit that's more important than that. Than the fucking ops and this. And the man, fuck that. Styles P said it best. Nerd up. Get your life together, get your, get you some property, do something, go to school, get a trade, my nigga, because this street shit is a short stop. And if it's one person that watches this shit and gets this message out of this shit, I appreciate that and I hope it reaches you. But I'm literally at a point now in my personal life where I don't get up and go to work no more. whoop the fucking do Like, but it's because I made a choice to work. I started when I was young, I worked. I grinded. Was every day great? No, every day wasn't great. Was every day to no, but at a certain point, you ain't gotta work no more. And now you can sit around and do nothing. You talk shit for a living like me. But what I'm saying is, like, make the right decisions. Be smart. Especially a lot of these niggas out here be having children. You go to jail, you get locked up, you take taken away from your kids and shit. Like, come on, dog. That shit is not even worth it. So if you're gonna get in this shit, just know. Yeah, it's money, yeah, it's attention, yeah, it's clout, all that shit is involved. But at the same time, you gotta have a you gotta have a, a, a solid mind in your show uh, between your between your ears. You know what I'm saying? The people around you gotta be smart too. Like you know what I'm saying? Like I got good people around me. You know what I mean? I ain't always had the best people around me. I ain't always make the best decisions in life. But the motherfuckers that I got around me now is gonna tell me, nah, that shit ain't right. Nah, that wasn't a smart decision. Nah, you shouldn't have said that. If I tweet some shit that ain't right, nah, I need to take that down. But you gotta have no people around you that's gonna tell you that. Motherfucker ain't gonna tell you that all the time. But you gotta have the right people around you. Because every day somebody wants your spot. Somebody wants what you got. You know what I mean? Niggas wanna do the shit that I do, huh? Hmm? You know what I mean? Niggas wanna do this shit. This niggas who's watching this shit right now trying to figure it out. I hope you figure it out. I hope you get big. Not bigger than me. <laughs> but I hope you do your motherfucking thing, man. Uh, but anyway, 
Salute to every single one of y'all that watch this content, whether religiously or in passing. Salute to my guy, Showtime SP. Niggas already know what it is. Gangster. Said you always had my back forever front. Uh. My brother asked me why I'm still rapping. I ain't hit a milli yet. I told him it's my dream. He said, wake up, mama still in debt. Too many people in their feelings. I ain't feeling that. My homie paralyzed right now. He can't get his feeling back.